Liberals at the firing range. You ready for this one? Yeah. This is a fun story. Okay. In Rochester, New York, a, self, a group of self-described queer and trans individuals are arming up to defend themselves against the, quote, violence of the far right, unquote, <laughs> by forming a gun club. Hey. Good. So That's going a great the idea. Range. They're slinging yeah. some lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Uh, here's the name. The, quote, Trigger Warning Queer and Trans Gun, gun Club. So the name of their gun Jeez. club is Trigger Warning. Clever. I get it. Like a little. Uh, yeah, yeah. Stupid. Uh, they're out to show conservatives that gun ownership isn't just for the right anymore. At least 18 members meet up You're once right. a month. What? You're right. G- gun ownership isn't just for the right. It's for all United States citizens. Yeah. Second Amendment. Imagine. <laughs> fucking imagine that. It applies to everyone. God. So there are at least 18 members that meet up once a month to practice shooting and hopefully firearm <laughs> safety. In an interview with Now This, that thing that posts all those videos on Facebook that you're sick of, uh, let's see, the founder and several members repeatedly claimed that they felt threatened by conservative extremists with guns and have decided to take their protection into their own hands. Not everyone in the LGBTQ community are enthused about the, gu- the group's mission, saying that it creates an arms race. Uh, <laughs> An arms race? Like, yeah. what, what, well, it's not like you guys are making your own guns. You're just, you're just buying better guns. Oh, we have twelve yeah. gauge shotguns. We have fifty gauge shotguns. <laughs> Fuck you, conservatives. Fifty gauge would actually be smaller. Um. So, let's talk about this. Uh, the uh, for one, the arms race thing is ridiculous. But they. Like I'm glad I'm glad they formed a gun club, Me ultimately too. because that's gonna like they're the, the even one of the girls was like when I first walked in and there was a gun on the table I was like Ooh, I physically reacted I cringed I shuddered and now I pop off a 12 gauge shotgun like it's nothing I'm like yeah imagine like you you were red pilled you found out that the gun is nothing to be scared of you actually moved farther right on the spectrum by doing this. But the thing that really bugs me about this, this fucking pisses me off, is this insistence that everyone on the right is this violent nut job who hates gays and trans and queers or whatever whatever terminology you choose to identify yourself with, is that we care and that we're going to kill you over it. I get that there are some fringe people, like the oh, Westboro yeah, Baptist no, guy. That, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. There are definitely groups that are that believe that we should kill all gay people. And we've seen them act at the nightclub in Florida, and they're extremist Muslims, and that's who you should be afraid of. Yeah. So, but like, and, and yes, get guns to defend yourself against that, and pass laws to make it so you can carry your gun. That's wonderful. But don't blame it on conservatives, because they kept saying over and over again, we're scared of conservatives. We're scared of conservatives. You don't have to be scared of us. We're just normal people with the same fucking motivations you have. We want to live our lives, go to work, go home, and be with our families just the way you want to. We're not going to kill you because you want to. Because you want to have sex. Because you like dick in your butt. Yeah. Yeah. Or because you have gender dysphoria, or because you can't. You know, whatever. Like we may have disagreements about how that should affect society, but those are disagreements. They're not. I'm going to shoot you because you were born slightly different than me. That's. Asinine. Oh no! I think you should 100% shoot a gay dude if he's coming at you with a weapon in a deadly ma- manner. Okay, that's a little different. <laughs> you fucking prick! You son of a bitch! Don't you? Fu- anyway, because these segments get used for the videos quite a lot, I don't have to then, chop your nonsense and you're, out. You're like, you're like, like, you know, he's he's robbing your house. And you're like, hey, are you are you a homosexual? And the guy's like, uh, yeah. And you're like, okay. I wasn't gonna shoot you, but since you're gay, bang. So no, uh, no, it's it's probably more like like, hey, are you robbing my house? You know what? I'm not even gonna wait for an answer. You're at my house and you're not supposed to be. Bang. Although that's illegal in some places. So, I, regardless of how they classify themselves, regardless of their political affiliation, I applaud these people for starting a gun club, especially in New York. It is exactly what what everyone needs. A gun club? Everyone that is mentally capable of handling a gun needs to be familiar with one. They need to know how to defend themselves. And listen, just that one chick who was like, I was scared of guns, and now I shoot a 12-gauge shotgun. That's progress. 
I don't understand how the, how you're scared of a gun. It's a tool. Are you scared of a hammer or a power drill? Well, that's the thing. She was taught all of her life that guns are evil. Guns are, I'm assuming, anyway. Guns are yeah. evil. Guns are scary. Guns are bad. Guns are this. Guns are that. And then whenever she got a hold of one and found out that it only goes bang when you pick the when you click the bang button, you know, yeah. when you pull the trigger, and that it only shoots what you point it at, uh, suddenly she wasn't scared of the gun anymore. Suddenly she had a broader worldview and she experienced something and that whole anti-gun thing got blown completely out of her mind because she got a dose of reality. So I am so happy that this exists. I think that the virtue signaling part of it and the, and the fear-mongering part of it is dumb. I think they should shut the fuck up about that. But these people, like, getting out there and shooting guns, I'd go shoot with them. I'm not gay or trans or anything like that, but I would, yeah, why not? It's something to bond with people over. 